Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome all the media and all our guests for this press conference. Today I am happy to be in the company of the Prime Minister of the Zenica Dobe Canton and the conference speakers Dr. De Bertolis, Philip Coppens, Klaus Dona and also Dr. Mizrak. We have members of our board of directors with, uh, with the President, Ahmed Bosnich and the others. In 2008, we have held our first scientific conference in Sarajevo about the Bosnian pyramids. In 2011, last September, we had the chance to have a second conference. And uh, I see many familiar faces, among them uh, the Excellency, the Ambassador from Pakistan, Mr. Jaffrey, who is a big supporter and a big friend of the project. And this year, for the third time, we have a mini conference where we have eight speakers who will be talking about the Bosnian pyramids, the updates in testing, lab analysis, samples, radiocarbon datings. Today we are going to hear a lot of news. Some of them will be spectacular. The Bosnian Pyramid Project is bringing the pioneering steps in uh, one science which has not established yet, the pyramid science. Now I would like to ask uh, His Excellency, the Prime Minister, Mr. Fikret Plevljak, Master of Sciences to address the press conference. Ja ću iskoristiti aktualni trenutak u kojem se nalazimo od juče i parafrazirat ću nešto što je staro par godina. His Excellency Prime Minister wanted just to say a few words. He said, ladies and gentlemen, wake up. We have some historical happenings in Visoko. So please come to Visoko. We are changing the history here. Ovim želim da pozovem ukupnu bosansko-hercegovačku akademsku javnost. His uh, Prime Minister was saying that uh, he wants to invite the academ academia from Bosnia and Herzegovina to come to Visoko. Those who support the project to do more effort, to get more scientific proofs about the existence of Bosnian pyramids. Those who think and talk that there is nothing here, he invites to come here and do the testing and try to disprove this hypothesis. In a science, there is the only way to act. Želim da kažem da će vlada Zeničko Dobojskog kantona, ali prema našim spoznajama i anketama i svih 400 hiljada građana Zeničko Dobojskog kantona. He wants to say one more time. The government on Zeničko Doboj kanton with 400,000 inhabitants of this kanton is and will be giving every possible help and support to this project. One more time, he welcomes you and wants you to feel real nice in uh, this town. Thank you very much. Now I would like to uh, ask uh, Klaus Dona, curator and researcher, author from Austria, Vienna, who has been doing exhibitions about very mysterious artifacts all over the world. He has been collecting them for decades, and he has realized, like uh, most of us here, that the history they've been teaching us is uh, most of the time wrong and not complete. So, Mr. Klaus, please address the press conference. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, since many years I study unknown civilizations and I study also artifacts from all over the world which are not explainable for the official science yet. It's a great honor to be invited again second time to this uh, very important conference and I just returned two weeks ago from a research trip to South Africa. Velika je čast da sam ponovo pozvan na ovu drugu međunarodnu konferenciju ovdje u Visokom i ja sam se upravo prije dvije sedmice vratio sa svog istraživačkog puta u Južnoj Africi. Last year when I was invited to the first conference, I asked a friend of mine who invented a very sensational technology to do a scan over the so-called Sun Pyramid because the official science is just talking about the mountain 
and when I received the scanning from my friend, we could show at the conference that in this pyramid, and it is definitely a pyramid, there is a huge tunnel system and there are also some rooms. I'm quite sure I wanted to bring another scan from the moon pyramid this time, but my friend unfortunately had not enough time because he was with me in South Africa and we found there are three pyramids. You will see some pictures this evening and they are looking exactly like your pyramids here in Bosnia. They are covered with earth and with trees, but these are also three until now unknown pyramids. And I'm quite sure the official science will not accept it until the final approval could be shown. And uh, I'm very happy about uh, the sentences His Excellency was saying. The official science should take the chance, come here and to other mysterious places and try to prove that it is not reality. But I'm quite sure they cannot prove that it's not reality. So that's why they are not willing to come and do further research here. Because if it is finally approved that these are three pyramids in Bosnia. It means there would be an official missing link in our history, and I think this is the biggest problem for the official science. And I wish all the best to Bosnia, to Visoko, and especially to Professor Osmanagic to get the final acceptance of a world sensation. For two years now, Professor Paolo de, Bertolo, uh, de Bertolis from the University of Trieste has been working stubbornly here in Visoko, gathering the teams of the persons of different specialties, scientists from different scientific fields, finding very interesting phenomena on the Bosnian pyramids and in the underground labyrinth. Not so many anthropologists in the world would dare to take this challenge, and he is one of them. I would like to ask Professor De Bertolis to address the press conference. I am uh, Paolo De Bertolis uh, from the University of Trieste, Italy. My name is Professor Paolo De Bertolis, I am from the of Trieste. And uh, our group of research uh, is uh, studying the uh, Bosnian pyramid for two years. Naša grupa za istraživanje posmatra bosanske piramide već dvije godine. In particular, the beam uh, which is uh, coming out of the top of the pyramid. Posebno energetske zrake koje dolaze kroz vrh bosanske piramide sunca. Last uh, year, uh, in the previous uh, conference, I said, we think uh, that there is something working inside the pyramid of the sun. Prošle godine tokom naučne konferencije izjavio sam tokom svog izlaganja da mi se čini da postoji nešto što radi unutar bosanske piramide sunca. Now after two years we are sure. A sada nakon dvije godine mogu da potvrdim da smo sigurni u to. For this is for this opinion uh, was very important the experiment made by my colleague Dr. Mirtrak in April of this year. Da bi doneli ovakav zapčak bilo je vrlo važno analiziranje mog kolege fizičara Dr. Slobodana Mirtraka iz Hrvatske u aprilu ove godine. And uh, in our presentation we will show uh, the results of this uh, research. Tokom naše prezentacije danas pokazat ćemo rezultate ovog istraživanja. Very, very interesting results. Biće vrlo, vrlo interesantan rezultat. Thank you, Samir, for your invitation. Zahvaljujem, gospodinu Senu, za pozdrav. In our life, we don't have a chance to have so many friends. When I first met uh, Philip Coppens four or five years back, I did not realize that we're going to have a, a friendship like this. And uh, it doesn't matter if it is a mainstream scientist or alternative scientist, you have people with the egos, and sometimes, you know, it can be obstacle for a friendly relationship. 
But one of those uh, who is real, sincere friend is uh, Philip Coppens, the author of a number of books, the researcher of megalithic structures all over the world, especially the pyramids all over the world. We have met uh, many times on this, in different parts of the world. And I'm happy to have him again here in Bosnia, in Visoko, with uh, his lovely wife, Kathleen McBowen, best-selling author from the United States. And uh, we expect from both of them to further promote this project, because this project does not belong to our little foundation, little town or little Bosnia. It belongs to all of us. Philip, I'd like you to address the conference. Well, first of all, thank you for um, having me here. Um, this is the fourth time I have come to Visoko, and the last time was in 2008. And I would like to thank Sam, everybody uh, who is involved as a workforce, all of the volunteers, the people of Visoko, the region, and Bosnia as a whole, for continuing to support this project and bringing it forward despite the economic hardship and everything else which has been going on in the world as a whole. Since 2007 and 2008, since I've first been here, it's apparent that this is something which is man-made. It is obvious to everybody who comes here that it is man-made. From 2007 to 2008, when I first came here, it's obvious that there are no phenomena that are created by human beings. And everybody who comes here goes away with that knowledge. And everyone who comes here goes away with that knowledge. And everyone who comes here those who don't have an agenda. Oni koji ne misle tako, očigledno imaju neki problem, imaju neke skrivene zamisli. This area is known as the cradle of civilization. It is something which scientists have called old Europe. This is something which they accept, but which they feel is all there is to it. Well, there is more to it than that, and that is the history which is being written here today. Unfortunately, what is happening here is not unique, it happens everywhere across the world, and I will be showing you some examples of that in my lecture, which basically shows that science has unfortunately a few decades ago stopped exploring and has really become centered on itself and has lost this edge of discovery. My personal motto, which you can read on my website and everything I do, says ancient knowledge will give us a future. My personal motto, which is in all my web says Prošlost će nam dati budućnost. And for us to have a future, we really need to embrace who we are as mankind, as humanity. And what is happening here uh, displays those two aspects. It will give us new knowledge as to who we are as mankind. And right now it is also illustrating what is wrong with mankind in not willing to unite and push forward as one. And so, no matter how hard it is, or no matter how hard it gets, um, everybody should just continue. And I would specifically like to thank Sam for persevering in the last four years, no matter how hard it was. Thank you. Thank you very much for the kind words. Thank you very much for the kind words.